All right, guys, so this is our uh, second video. If you want to close your notes up again and um, mark 4L on here, I like to mark the section so that you know, um, you know, when we talk about 4L, what that's about. So 4L, and again, that's multiplying fractions. So we've done multiplying a fraction by a fraction. So now we're going to talk about multiplying a fraction by a mixed number. So if you open up so that you're on the center uh, pages here, and you can see I stapled mine a little deep, so I missed some of my problems. So I'm going to just open that up a little bit. If you did that too, you can do the same thing I'm doing, just kind of open it up a little bit. All right, so with um, multiplying fractions by mixed numbers, we are going to change all of our mixed numbers to improper fractions. All right, then we're going to cross-reduce if we can, and then we're going to multiply straight across, and then we're going to simplify if we need to. So here we go. Our very first one is one-third times one and one-half. So we're going to multiply one times two, and that's two, and then we're going to add one, so that's three-halves. So this becomes one-third. This one doesn't change, but three-halves. So we've got one-third and one and a half became three halves because we multiplied one times two and added one for our new numerator. All right, looking to see if I can cross simplify. And sure enough, I see that three and three, those can both be divided by three. So three divided by three is one, three divided by three is one. I can't cross simplify here, so I'm ready to go. One times one is one, one times two is two, and my answer is one half, that can't be reduced anymore. All right, looking at my next problem. I'm going to leave two-thirds alone. Doesn't change at all. One times five is five, plus one is six, so that becomes six-fifths. Looking where I can simplify, three divides by three once, and six divides by three twice. Ready to multiply straight across. Two times two is four, one times five is five, and so my answer there is four-fifths. Alrighty, three-fourths doesn't have to change, it's a fraction. Two times three is six, plus one is seven, so that's seven, and the denominator stays the same, seven-thirds. Looking to see where we can cross-simplify. Three divided by three, three divides by three. One times three is seven, Four times one is four. Just a reminder that we I want to change these um, improper fractions to mixed numbers. So four divides into seven once with three left over. So that minus four is three fourths. So our final answer is one and three fourths on there. Just a reminder that looks like this. Seven divided by four. Always the numerator in the house, the denominator out of the house. 4 divides into 7 once, subtract my 4, and get my 3. Alrighty, let's look at our next example here. 1 and 1 fourth times 2 thirds. So this is our improper fraction, or we need to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. 1 plus 4, I'm sorry, 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so that's 5 fourths times 2 thirds. Look for opportunities to cross simplify. These can both divide by 2, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Multiply, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 3 is 6, lowest terms, not an improper fraction, done there. Okay, here we go again, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8 thirds times 1 fourth, look for opportunities to cross simplify. Both of these can divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Can't cross simplify here. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. So our answer there is 2 thirds. Alrighty. Uh, why don't you go ahead and stop your video, try this one on your own, and then start the video up again and check to see how you did before we move into the ones that are both mixed numbers. Alright, let's see how you did. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so this is 5 fourths, times 3 fourths. Look for places to cross simplify, and we don't have any. Can't cross simplify here. 
5 times 3 is 15. Now remember, you've got to multiply these denominators. 4 times 4 is 16. Even though they're the same, you know, when we were adding or subtracting, we just bring that over, but we're, we're multiplying now, so we still have to multiply those. And so we've got 15 sixteenths. And now down here we've got two mixed numbers, no problem. I'm just going to change them both into improper fractions. So 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 4 thirds, times 1 times 7 is 7, plus 5 gives us 12, 12 sevenths. Cross simplify, 3 divides by 3 once, 12 divides by 3 4 times. 4 and 7 can't be simplified. 4 times 4 is 16. 1 times 7 is 7. How many times will 7 divide into 16? Well, it'll go twice, right? Because 7 times 2 is 14. That'll give us 2 left over. And the 7 is my denominator. So that work would look like this. Seven, 16 divided by 2. 7 divides into 16 twice. 2 times 7 is 14. 16 minus 14 is 2. So there's my whole number. There's my leftovers, and there's my denominator. All right, 2 and 2 sevenths. Okay, let's look at our next one. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5, 5 thirds here. 2 times 10 is 20, plus 3 is 23, 23 tenths. Look for opportunities to cross simplify, not here, but here we can divide both of these by 5. 5 divides by 5 once, 10 divides by 5 twice. 23 times 1 is 23, 3 times 2 is 6. And you want to see how many times we can divide 23 by 6. So 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract. We get 5, and so our answer should be 3, leftovers 5, 6. And there's our answer. All right, why don't you try this very last one on your own. So stop your video, try this one, and then check back in and see how you did on that. All right, so here we go. 12 times 2 is 24, plus 1 is 25 over 12. Did you change to the improper fraction correctly? 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Places to cross simplify, both of these divide by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, 12 divided by 4 is 3. Both of these divide by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, 25 divided by 5 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 divides into 10 3 times with 1 left over. And that division would look like this, 10 divides by 3, 3 times 3 is 9, subtract my 9, there's my leftover. So we've got 3 and 1 third. Alrighty, I'm going to stop this video now and you can check the next video for uh, fractions times whole numbers.